March 5th, 2012, and we're in the middle of an impatience bed in Naples, Florida, except it seems to be melting away. The bling bling's been taken away by a disease called downy mildew. This disease first occurred on the east coast of Florida this year about six weeks ago and showed up in Naples about two to three weeks ago and it's been decimating these impatience beds. What was once a full lush bed of petals is now bare stems without any leaves. To scalp for this disease, flip leaves over. Here's a normal healthy leaf. Here's a leaf with a mild infection. See that light dusting or coating of white? And then leaves drop off. They're just coated with the water mold fungi and spores. So what happened this year? Why are the impatiens dying overnight, apparently? Well, classic plant pathology teaches us the disease triangle. In our situation, we had masses of a susceptible host, our common impatiens, as a bedding plant. And secondly, we had a new pathogen, a water mold, a very aggressive water mold. And thirdly, and perhaps more important, we had the correct environment, where we had cool nights, and moist nights, even fog. We had these three components come together exactly for the perfect downy mildew storm. Once you have the disease, it's too late. Sanitation is key. This disease is highly aggressive and can spread very rapidly. So be sure to remove and destroy infected plants as soon as you find them. Because we can't control downy mildew on impatience in the landscape, we have to look at alternative plants which will do well during our South Florida winters, such as these begonias and white alyssum here. Petunias and geraniums are another good choice. Another substitute for wintertime color are the New Guinea impatiens. These are a tad more expensive and have more of an upright rather than spreading form, but they don't get the downy mildew disease like the more commonly used in patients Walleriana. Because we can't control this disease on our common impatients, don't plan on using them in these beds for a number of years until we figure out what needs to be done to best manage them. Research is being done on fungicides or products that can be used to suppress this disease by Dr. Aaron Palmatier at the University of Florida. This is Doug Caldwell, University of Florida, Collier County Extension, helping you to beautify the landscape and protect the environment.